And uh, I, I look at them and I just wonder, I, I debate, are they going to come to the march or not? And I look at them, I look at what they're wearing, I look at their appearance. No, they're not going to, my, my judgment, no, they're not going to come to the march. I'm not the kind of person that would be involved in this. Usually I'm right. I got sort of an intuitive feel. I'm not always right, but I usually on this, on this issue. No, I was at the demonstration at, uh, in late November here in London and then at the one about the 15th or 18th of January, I think it was the 18th, and that was bigger than the first one and then the, uh, the one last February 15th was really, really big. I think this is even bigger. This is so gratifying that that Londoners and people all over the world are so involved in the peace movement because it's certainly now it's it's make or break time we're right on the edge and uh, I try to keep myself up I try to keep myself optimistic and positive but it's very very difficult and it gets more difficult every day but again we're buying time there's no war yet it's now the the 15th of March so we've, we've got to buy time, we've got to buy more time. And I think we're, we're doing it because of these, with these demonstrations. But I've been involved in demonstrations in, in, uh, in Montreal, Vietnam War demonstrations against the war in Vietnam. Montreal, Toronto, New York, Washington. Uh, just all over the place. And the... I marched with Martin Luther King against the war in Vietnam in 19... I think it was 66. When he spoke at the United Nations with Dave Dellinger, Rap Brown, Stokely Carmichael, a whole bunch of people. That was the largest demonstration in the world at the time against the war.